and we're back with another part of Final Fantasy 7. Now, uh, my last two videos didn't have any commentary on them. I don't know why I didn't record it, but there wasn't much important to say. Well, there probably was, but I cannot remember off the top of my head what it was. Uh, I was ill, so it's probably best uh, that it didn't have commentary on it, because I probably would have turned it really bad. Uh, still feeling a little rough now, but I will survive, so yeah. Let's get back to it. Uh, what I did originally promise while I, during the commentary that never happened in the last video was this was going to be a bit of a boss gauntlet since there is about three, four bosses I could fight in this one video alone, uh, depending on how fast I do them. Uh, yeah, well, that's about it. Population thought that Shinra would protect them. Work at Shinra, get your pay if terrorists terrorist attacks, the Shinra army will help you. It looks perfect on the outside. But I do things differently. I'll control the world with fear. It takes too much to do it like my old man. As a thought though, that's probably going to bring up more terrorist organizations like Avalanche. A little fear will control the minds of the common people. There's no reason to waste money on them. Yep, seems so. <laughs> when, <laughs> why not us? I'll explain later. This is the real crisis for the planet. I totally want the glory of kicking the ass of the, pres of the new president of this organization. <laughs> yes. It's going to take a lot of cleaning to clean up that mess, plus all those slashes in the wall. Which seems a bit unnecessary, but whatever. Cool, we get to leave the least important character behind and uh, get the hell out of here. Yeah, I'd suggest saving before you even go anywhere near that door. Remove it, please. Or save before you even go upstairs. Luckily, I'm too good for that. Uh, I've removed everyone's material, but set up quickly. Uh, she's all set up already, but. I'm gonna give her bolt. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna take. No, I'm gonna take off those. Arrange my spells. To give lightning and ice to her. Give the other lightning and ice to you, while also putting on seed sense and cover. Yeah, we'll go with that. As for you, a uh, bit of restore all on you will do well, I think. Plus, might as well level up poison a little, and might as well level up the two fires as well. In fact, take off that other fire, put on elemental, and there you go. That's me set, set up for these bosses. Now, they'll activate it around the second you activate this elevator, so don't do it until you're set up. Now what really confuses me about this boss battle is why the hell have they randomly got a massive robot just placed randomly on this other elevator? Seem well, technically this isn't even boss music, so I don't even know if this is a boss battle. Now, I did something a little different the first time I did this. All those grenades I bought a little while back, I decided to use all of them uh, in the original like, you know, try through of this, but I got uh, I got distracted and couldn't finish the video, so, yeah. I think I will save those grenades this time and use them on the next part of this boss battle, because technically this is a two-part boss battle. Now, this guy has, I think, about... Uh, what was it? 1,000 HP, I'm guessing? You might as well sense it so you can get a proper look at his HP. Oh no, 1,600, I was way off. But, yeah, robotic enemy, obviously going to be weak to lightning, so... It's a good thing I put lightning on some characters. Now well, that's essentially his first part gone. He's essentially got three modes, this guy. His first mode is the two machine gun arms. As soon as they're gone, he'll he'll change to that gun on the top. As soon as the gun on the top is gone, he'll start using this wave cannon sort of thing, which is um, 
not probably the most powerful attack you'll ever see, but you never know, it could it could cost you. My barret's running a little low on HP, but luckily for me, I have an air limit break ready to go. So single healing wind. And I think that's yeah, that's the guns on top gone. Uh, I'll save that for a minute. Since it's not like we're all close to death. If it were that case, I probably would have used the healing wind there. But when it's unnecessary, you might as well not bother. Now, since he's on his third part, he's very close to death. Probably within 300 now, give or take. Then again, I have been completely wrong before, and I could be completely wrong again. You think you'd think a robot would take um, would heal from electricity, considering electricity is what runs it. Maybe it's a maybe it's a case of short circuit in it. But he can't be that far off now. Ah, there we go. Not a problem. But as I said, two part boss battle, so this thing takes over. Now this I don't get either. You fight that one, and then suddenly this thing pops up and and is like, "Yo, it's my turn. Let's let's roll, homie." Now this guy's got status element attacks. Uh, I believe his AB cannon is capable of sleep. His C cannon is capable of poison. And I can't remember if anything else. If he has anything else, I know he has a like a drill attack, which can um. It's a single hit thing, but it doesn't use any status effects. He'll, he'll start doing that as soon as he starts spinning. Oh, he also has this thing. Far in line, all three cannons hits whole party. Red's a little weakened, I might want to heal him. Don't want him going down now. No, my luck though. Oh wait, I was about to say no, my luck. That'll go straight for him anyway. I was, that was the person who was healing him. You son of a bitch! Don't hit red. Don't hit red. Don't hit red. Don't hit red. Son of a bitch! This is going bad all of a sudden. But don't worry, this will not be my my uh, first loss of this let's play. I will not let it. Plus this battle is incredibly easy, so it's kind of unnecessary. Um Now this guy I think does have the thousand H uh, the thousand HP that I thought the other one had. So yeah. Can't be that far off. There's not. Uh, I'm trying to think of what to say here. <laughs> There's not much you can say when you've explained when you've explained pretty much everything a boss has for itself. Ah, oh, it starts spinning. It'll start doing the drill spin attack now. Pitting it with a couple of fires and maybe some bolts, and, it, and we'll be done here. Ow, headache! I noticed that did a hell of a lot less than it should have done. Hmm. Ah, there we go. Easy money. Little leveling up for those two. Mithril Amulet, which I don't even need because I have like three of them. Okay, remove the materia. Okay, uh. Now, my suggestion for this is poison, restore magic, and whatever else you want. So I'm obviously going to go with my lightning ice combination because I like to keep them leveled up at the same time. And that's all for that. Now, 
I didn't actually notice if I did or not there, but Cloud should have a limit break. And that's very useful for the first part of this battle because Rufus doesn't attack you on his own. I don't know where his partner comes from, but it just pops out of nowhere. Of course it won't mean we'll become friends. I hate you, ginger fuck. We need to kill this thing as quickly as possible or it'll start doing everything to protect him. Which is why it's a good thing I have this cross slash available. Braver will work just as well, but, you know, it, this thing can paralyze in case it doesn't kill him. And Bio is good for poisoning Rufus because it's completely possible. Wow, got him first time that time. He only has about 500 HP before he bolts out of here, but... Yeah, the poison is helpful for doing that little bit extra damage. There we go, he's two, he's two fifths of the way dead now. I probably won't even need to heal actually. Although, just to be safe, I might want to next, like in the next turn or so. Now, I'd say Rufus is about as fast as me, maybe a little faster. So. There we go, he's paralysed. Ha, ah, he can't do anything. Oh. There we go. Poison managed to finish him off for me. I didn't even need to do anything. Pussy. Get back here. Let me finish you off. Protect for... And got to it. Now, sources in this game are essentially what you use to, uh... Boost your natural stats, so... They're just like um, some of the things you can get in, uh, that you can make in FF8. Uh, I remember when I was a kid, this area, I used to constantly just sit here for like 10 minutes listening to this theme because I really did love it. And because it plays constantly. At the front door, where the entire Shinra army waits. Uh, uh. Just proves how, bar uh, how badass Barrett is. He runs out in, in front of a load of soldiers, comes back in without a scratch on him. That ain't happening. You got caught up in the silver Marlene. Now it's my turn to watch over you. Oh yeah. <laughs> Playtime's over, you jackasses. <laughs> Bring it on. Barrett's just gonna run out there and kill every single person with his, with his bare hands. One of which has a gun on it, so it's kind of not his bare hands. Top tits. Now, for a second, though, uh, like when I was when I first played this, I actually thought she was going to run up the other stairs completely redundantly. So, <laughs> that is one nice bike. This has got to be one of my favourite songs in the game as well. Crazy Motorcycle Chase. It's friggin' awesome. Alright, this next part is a mini game. And I remember. Uh, it's really hard to um, get through this perfectly without anyone getting damaged. I managed it once in the little uh, Golden Saucer mini game. Like, I almost managed a perfect score on that. I think they only got hit once. Which kind of upset me because I was hoping to get, like, the perfect score. But. Alas, I didn't manage it. Can control the bike with the directional pads and save your friends and the truck from the Shinra Pursuit thing. Alright, let's form a party. Uh, yeah, that'll do. Sorry. Um... Lightning is going to be a helpful spell here, so keep those two together like I always do. Uh, sense. Let's have some sense. As for you, Barrett, there's not much else you can have, so we'll have. Um, fire elemental there. Sense and stick. Might as well. There's not much else I can put on you, so. 
Alright, let's see how well I do here. Now, you don't really need to stop these bikes, but as you see, life bars, dep uh, depending on your party, you might want to um, make sure you stop them, because every little hit against your party members will do damage to you, which means you have less health for the boss battle in a minute. I hate these red ones. I just figures it'll be red ones. The red ones are really dodgy. They try to avoid you at all costs. While also uh, kind of distracting you from your from your allies. Oh come on, it's all been red. The orange ones are a hell of a lot easier. They they they're a lot more reckless. Come on. Yeah, that's right. I'll get you. I will get you. There we go. My damage hasn't been so bad from my current party so far. Most of the hits have been on me and Red. No! This is quite an interesting little mini game though, to be fairly honest. Oh yeah, and if you uh, manage to take a bike down and it happens to hit a bike behind them, there's a chance that it'll take them down as well. So you could take down like three bikes with one, with one bike you've knocked down. It doesn't always happen as you saw there. I think these guys have like a certain amount of life. If you hit them in a certain way, they'll instantly go down. But if you hit them like on the front or the back, it'll just nick them and it won't do the maximum amount of damage. Come on. <laughs> you see, they're careful, but they're not they're not perfectly careful. They will still die if they run into them. Oh yeah, you don't also have to use your sword. If you just run into an enemy, it'll start doing the damage and you can knock them off that way. Although that will do damage to you. But to be fairly honest, I've never lost more than half a health bar for any of my characters. In fact, I don't even think I've lost more than a quarter of a health bar for any of my team. Why the hell am I up there? This is going to be the part where I do. <laughs> Alright, the boss is coming up now. As soon as they, as soon as they f off like that, then you know the boss is coming. Big meaty motherfucker as well. Yes. All right, bring it on. I don't know why Barrett couldn't have helped me out there. Maybe shot at a couple of them, but uh, I guess he ran out of bullets or something. Either that, or he's just incredibly lazy. All right, there's a way you can avoid the damage at the beginning of this battle. Since you start as a back attack, if you go to run. It'll say you can't escape, but it'll switch you back to uh, normal mode, so you'll be facing the front and won't take as much damage. Aerith took more th damage than everyone else there because she's technically in the front row right now, when she was in the back. I should have actually changed that, I completely forgot to. Luckily, I still have the uh, limit break. Let's see how much health... Uh, this guy has a hell of a lot more HP than most of the other enemies he fought at the moment. I think it's like 2,400. But this guy seems incredibly weak to lightning, so shouldn't be a problem there. Oh, 2006. I said 2400, right? I'm probably going to rewatch this video and go, yeah, I was correct. I was correct first time. <sighs> oh, yeah, shit, I forgot about those grenades. I can start lobbing them. <laughs> That'll uh, help Barrett do a little more damage. This guy's not exactly the most dangerous boss, but uh, he's got some hard hitting attacks, so you got to watch yourself. Which is why I'd say it's a good thing I have that healing wind. Now, there's an attack that not people uh, see this guy do. I think it's called like rolling fire or something. And it's quite a it's quite a damaging attack. He'll only do it after a certain amount of attacks or his MP runs low or something. I can't remember. I've only ever seen it personally myself once, and that was a long time ago. I think that's because I left about running too long. Ah, Healing Wind, one of the most helpful spells in the uh, limit break from the game. At least early words. Uh, one of the other characters you can get in this game, one of the uh, characters that are secret, 
uh, Yuffie also has a limit break like this, but I think it's like a level 1.2. And it's, it's called Tri Clear Tranquil. It essentially has the same effect, but yeah, you also you see have to use her first one a few times. Huh. Let's see if Aerith can kill it with one of, with one of her normal attacks. Oh god, that burns. <laughs> you got killed by an Aerith physical bitch. That must be pretty embarrassing actually because she's got like the lowest physical attack in the game. Yay, she leveled up. Yay, star pendant, which I think I already have one of. Yeah, I got it off the coupons. <laughs> right, that's it for Midgar. That is the last we're going to see of this place for a long while. Due to, yeah. Sephiroth is alive. I, I have to settle the score. What score? I had no idea there was a score. Uh, that'll save the planet. Seems like it. I right, I'm going. Yeah, everyone's coming anyway. You might as well just all jump down there now. This seems really random, though. Where the hell was this road gonna lead? I mean, it, just, it looks like it leads out of, like, just as a ramp. Which would be kind of amusing if people start page jump off this ramp. Mega sucks anyway, so. Drop. All right. He says that, but he goes further. Let's talk to everyone, see what they're gonna see. I believe she relocates to Calm, which is where we're heading next. I'm gonna skip the. Uh, I'm gonna skip the world trekking thing because it's just irritating. Because it will just be the same as. Uh, you know, the same as, uh... Nah, just be the same as Final Fantasy VI, and since I can't skip battles, it's just gonna be a load of random battles. So I'm gonna try and skip world map bits when I can. Unless, of course, it's important. Plus, the next episode's gonna be long enough with the whole story thing without having to go through the world map bit as well. Now, there's three things you can do here. You can mix up your party, like I'm going to do. You can go with the two girls or the two guys. If you go with the two guys, the two girls will look, will act really confused, be like, what? But if you go with the two girls, Barrett will say something like, uh, to be expected, or something like that. You know, because he's a pimp and all that. But, yeah. Let's have a look at the world map while we're here. Big area. And it's a lot more 3D than Final Fantasy VI, don't you agree? Anyway, that's it from this episode. Uh, until next time, this is Ivory signing off this, this massive boss conflict. Uh, see you later. Ta-ta.